Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to make this Movie Star magazine cover from the 1940s or 1950s using any face you like. You can also replace the month and the name. I provided a template for you to download so you can follow along. Its link is located in the video's description or project files. It includes this space, text for the month, a copy of the masthead with the 10 cent cost, the inset with text for the name, edge scuffs, and paper creases and stains. Open a photo of the person you'd like to place into the magazine. Make sure the resolution is 72 pixels per inch since the results will look best using this resolution with the filter we're going to use. If your photo is in color, you need to desaturate it. To do this, press Control Shift U on a PC or Command Shift U on a Mac. Invoke Auto Levels by pressing Control or Command Shift L. We need to cut the face and shoulders from its background. There are many ways to do this, but for this example, I'll use the Quick Selection tool. I'll make the size 10 pixels and the hardness 100%. Drag the tool down and across inside the subject to select it. To remove areas of the selection, press and hold Alt or Option as you drag across those areas. Go to Select and Refine Edge. Check Smart Radius and increase it to an amount that starts to show some details around the hair. Make the output new layer and click OK. Go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Open the sketch folder and choose Halftone Pattern. The pattern type is dot, the size is 2, and the contrast is 7. Then click OK. Press V to open your Move tool and drag it up onto the tab of the magazine. Without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down onto the image and then release. Drag it to the lower right corner. To adjust its size, press Ctrl or Command T to open your Transform tool. Go to the upper left corner and when you see a straight double arrow, press and hold Shift as you drag it out. To reposition it, click inside the transform and move it. Then press enter or return. Make a copy of your subject by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Change its blend mode to multiply. Make the original head active and Ctrl click it on a PC or Command click it on a Mac. This makes a selection of its shape. Go to Select, Modify, and Contract. We'll contract it by one pixel. Click on the Layer Mask button to make a layer mask of the selection next to the active layer. Click on the thumbnail to make it active. We'll fill the entire layer with white, and since white is our background color, press Ctrl or Command plus Delete. We're ready to add some color to the face. Open your pencil tool and make the size 100 pixels and the hardness 100%. Click on your foreground color and for this example I'll pick pink. Whatever color you choose, make sure it's light. Now paint over the skin. I'll pick a different color for the lips. I'll click on the foreground color again and pick another color. To zoom in, press Z on your keyboard to open your zoom tool. Drag a rectangle around the area you want to zoom in and press B to open your pencil tool. To decrease its size, press the left bracket key on your keyboard. I'll paint around the edge of the lips, open my bucket tool, and click down inside the empty area to fill it in. To paint the teeth white, I'll invert the colors, 
by clicking on this curved double arrow or by pressing X. I'll open my pencil tool and paint over the teeth. I want to see her eyes, so I'll press and hold the space bar as I click and drag the image down. I'll paint the white of the eyes. To save time, I also painted in the irises and jewelry. Now I'll use a soft brush to add blush to her cheeks and eyeshadow to her eyelids. I'll pick a pink color and open my brush tool. I'll choose 300 pixels, make the hardness 0, and the opacity 20%. I'll click down a couple of times on each cheek. For the eyeshadow, I'll pick a light blue. I'll reduce the size of the brush and brush over the eyelids until there's enough color on each one. Let's add an overall color cast to the face to give it a hand-tinted period look. Click on the Adjustment Layer button and choose Color Lookup, which was introduced in CS6. If you have an earlier version of Photoshop, you can choose Hue Saturation, click Colorize, and reduce its opacity. We need to make the Adjustment Layer affect only the color of the face. To do this, click the Clip to Layer icon. Open the 3D LUT tab and choose Candlelight.Cube. Notice it muted all the colors and gave them an overall yellow cast. Now let's make the black color a little less dense. Click on the head layer and reduce its opacity to 90%. If you want to change the name of the month, click on the layer open your type tool and highlight the text. I'm using Reclaim Script Demo which you can download from the link I provided in the video's description or project files. If you're not sure how to install fonts check out my tutorial on how to do this. I provided that link as well. For this font the size is 58 points, smooth, center text, and the color is black. Type out whatever month you like. For the name, I'm using American Captain with a point size of 49 and the color is a dark navy blue, 1B273C. To decrease or increase the space or tracking between the characters, highlight the text, Press and hold Alt or Option as you press the left or right arrow keys on your keyboard. Have fun transforming someone you know into a movie star from the 1940s or 1950s. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.